really think you can kick it that far? Welcome to the show. We've got a great one today with a sophomore starter with the men's soccer team. He's here to talk a little bit about the season, so stay tuned. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to the show. Today we have Scott Parkinson, a sophomore with the men's soccer team. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thanks for having me. So the season started off really well for the guys. We're 6-2 and 2-0 um, and and in conference play. We just had a big win on the road against OBU, who started off the season tied with us um, at the top spot in the yeah. conference. Yeah, it was a massive game. They, uh, they'd done us over last year. They took the conference from us. Um, they won the conference and the conference tournament. So for us, it was about getting one over on them and trying to win this conference this year and going away and beating them at their patch was, uh, was a step in the right direction. Good, and it was just everything was clicking that, that game or? Yeah, I think the, um, from start to finish, the boys just seemed to want it more and more. And as the coaches picked up on, they said the leadership um, from every single player was outstanding. People were getting on each other's backs when they were making mistakes, but praising people when they'd done uh, great things. So it worked pretty well for us. And um, how do you think, in general, the guys are doing this year? Uh, I think we're doing okay. We're getting there. Uh, training session by training session, it seems to be improving day by day. Um, and that's all we can ask for. We just need to keep improving, keep gelling as a team. And um, hopefully we'll get some good things. Um, and we are entering, I believe, um, four, four or five home doubleheaders in less than two weeks mm -hmm. so tell me about that playing at home what's that like for you there's just nothing like playing at home um going away you know it, it's great hotels fancy meals training sessions in swimming pools um but for me put me in my apartment or my dorm room and i'd take playing at home all day there's nothing like playing at the drover dome nothing like it okay and hopefully we can get five wins out of the guys we've had it drummed into us to just take it game by game so mm -hmm. If you go and ask one of the boys around campus, he'll tell you that we've just got one home game coming up. We don't have five. Okay. Uh, so game by game. But we, we feel that we should never be beat at home. And Bethel came here and done it to us. So um, we're going to do our best to make sure it doesn't happen again this year. And what are your personal goals for the season? Um, I just need to stay fit, stay focused, um, and just try and stay in that starting 11. Um, I had a, an instance in the St. Greg's game where I didn't get to suit up and it was just like I had my heart ripped out of my chest. So for me it's staying fit, sticking with the boys and, and staying in that 11. Um, and besides your um, soccer responsibilities and school, you also do something with Chickasha High School? Yeah, I'm the uh, assistant coach down there um, and we have a busy schedule coming up in the spring. We won um, the 5A district for the first time since Coach Hampton left, probably about 12 years ago. So we've, uh, we're excited to go and try and snatch a state championship this year. And what are your responsibilities as coach there? Everything from picking the team to taking them to Subway to eat, driving the coach, mm -hmm. running sessions. Um, we try and do as much as we can. 
And you're an assistant coach right now, but there's a chance that you'll be promoted to head coach soon? Yeah, hopefully. Um, there's uh, a lot of politics going on down there at the minute, um, obviously with budget cuts and things like that. Um, so they may be looking for a, a, a permanent head coach position, and I put my name forward, and I'd like to think I'd be top of the pile to take it. Well, good luck with that. What, what's your favorite part about coaching? Um, I think it's using the, the bits of knowledge that we do know about the game that some of the younger kids don't know. Um, maybe seeing something that they're not doing or and getting them to make the change on the field and, and seeing a goal from it or a good play. Um, that makes me proud. Well, great. And good luck to the teams this year. Um, Thank you. One last thing I want to talk about is I hear you have three amazing sisters. Yeah, Tell I me do. About them. You can yeah. give them a shout out if you want. <laughs> Hello, girls. <laughs> yeah, three amazing sisters. I got Tammy, Jolene, and Ellie. Um, Ellie's younger, Tammy and Jolene are older. Um, and they've given me uh, four nephews and a niece. We got Lily and Ben, they're Tammy's babies, and Harry, Alfie, and Freddie, they're Jolene's. So I miss them all so much. I bet you do. Yeah. Uh, do you get to see them much? Um, no, I've not been home. It's going to be two years after this season. Oh. So I get to see them on Skype every now and then and, and on Facebook and emails and texts. Okay. So the sooner I can get home and see them, the better. <laughs> I bet. I bet. What was it like growing up with three sisters and no brothers? Oh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I get a lot of stick off the boys for knowing Madonna songs and, <laughs> and Take That, which is a British band. So... Uh, but no, it was fun. I always try and look out for them. Well, good. Well, good. And good luck this season. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. If you want to be Fan of the Week, go to our USAO Drovers fan Facebook page and like our In the Saddle link each week to enter to win. Each week we pick our Fan of the Week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's Fan of the Week was print shop manager Adam Heilman. Again, congratulations, Adam. This week's Fan of the Week is Andrea Smith. Congratulations, Andrea. That's our show. This is our last show before the first ever Drover Soccer Pink game, where the team's gonna be wearing pink, and I need you to come out to Drover Pitch and wear pink also. That's October 11th at 1 and 3 o'clock. We'll see you then and next time on In the Saddle. <laughs>